Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can customize the sale text for your Squarespace online store. Now what we're gonna do is use our site styles menu to change the font size and the font color, but then we're gonna use custom CSS to actually move that sale label over the product image on your storefront. Now the code I'm about to share is in the description below, but I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen so we can start by changing the font and the color. So here we are in the storefront of my Squarespace site, and you'll see I have the word sale for the style to option right here. We're going to change the size and the color of this font using our site styles menu, and then we'll move it above the image using some custom code. So let's hop into design and then scroll down to site styles. That's where we'll make our first few changes here. Let's start by changing the size of the font. I'm going to select fonts and I'll scroll down to where it says assign styles. That's where the sale option is hidden. Now you'll notice as soon as I'm here inside the font menu, we're getting this blue outline on things that I'm hovering over. That is a super easy way that Squarespace will narrow down your options so you can see what you're actually going to change. If I click on the word sale, it'll narrow it down to list status. That's the name of that option here. For style and size, I can change it right here in my menu. Clicking on style, I can select custom to change the font family. I'm fine with leaving it with the miscellaneous font so it matches my site. But down here, this is where we can change the size. If I use this slider right here, I can make the word sale a lot bigger than it used to be. Let's go ahead and leave it there so it really stands out. Now going back, we'll be taken to our assigned styles menu, then our font menu, and then all the way back to the beginning so we can select colors. This section is set to my lightest one color theme. If I scroll up, I can see that option right there. So scrolling back down, I'll select lightest one. And again, if I hover over that item, it'll narrow down the list for me. I'm gonna click on that option and I can choose a color from my color palette or I can select custom. I wanna make this a vibrant green. And there we go. Now the word sale is that vibrant green. I'm gonna go ahead and select done and we're gonna use some CSS to move this word sale above the image. I'm gonna to navigate to design and then select custom CSS. Now this code is beneath the video, but you're, you're going to want to change two values and I'll show you which two they are. The selector or the code name for this word sale is grid meta status. Then I'll open up a curly bracket and I'm going to say transform, translate and open up a parentheses. We're gonna move it horizontally and then we're gonna move it vertically. So I'll say translate and I'll spell it correctly. There we go. And now I'll say negative 15 PX and you'll see it scooted a little bit to the left. Then I'll say comma negative 40 PX and now it'll scoot it up above the image. 40 isn't big enough. Let's go with 60. What does that look like? There we go. Now the word sale is in the bottom right hand corner of that image. Pretty cool, right? Now let's say we wanted to go even higher up. We could say maybe 200 or even 320 to scoot it up to the top of that image. Super customizable, so change up those values. Again, this reads horizontally, that's my 15 PX, and vertically, that's negative 320. If I wanna scoot it all the way to the left-hand side, I could try maybe negative 60 PX. Let's try 200, and there we go. Now it's in the top left-hand side of my image. And check it out, when I hover over this image, I'm still going to get that alternate image showing up, this doesn't change the way that image reacts. It's still a clickable link, but the word sale is now on the top left-hand side. Again, this reads horizontally and then vertically. Once you have it in the perfect position, select save, and let's take a look at the mobile view of our site here. You'll notice on mobile, it's a little bit different. All right, let's go ahead and change that. I'm going to enter a new line of code that says at media only screen and max width 640 PX and then open up a curly bracket. This code tells a browser when the screen is at 640 pixels in width or smaller, apply this new code. Now I'm gonna take the code that we originally wrote and paste it here, but instead of 200 PX, I'll try 300 and that'll scoot it even further to the left. So maybe 250 is all I need. Now over here, this is again our vertical axis. So instead of 320, maybe 400 would be more appropriate. Whoa, that's way too high off the page. How about 360? What does that look like? There we go. And you know what? I'm gonna change this just a little bit more. Let's try 270 to the left. That's a perfect spot for me to put that sale label for that particular image, but that'll only show up on mobile devices. I'll select save and let's go ahead and check out the desktop version. It's exactly where we left it. Mobile version, there we go. 
So again, this right here changes where the sale label is only on mobile devices. This first one changes where it is on desktop. And one last time, it says transform translate, change its position horizontally, comma, change its position vertically. If you enjoyed this quick tutorial, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I'd love to teach you more about Squarespace every single week. Now I've got more videos about customizing your storefront, so stick around. Here's what's coming up next.